thought you were going for my ear. I thought you were going for my ear. Weird. Weird. Um. On that note, uh, Pat, do you remember where we left off last week? Where did we leave off last week? We had, I don't want to say a filler episode, but a filler episode of... Uh, I'd call it a filler episode just because it was made for the anime, so uh, I'll call it a filler. Uh, it revolved around Froppy, and uh, we did get to see little snippets of the other characters and their internships, but it was heavily uh, Froppy-based, uh, which was cool. I was very excited to see some uh, some more of her. She hasn't gotten a lot of time in the spotlight. We know Stain, he's in lockdown or whatever right now, and we know enough about Shigaraki at the moment but we don't know who he calls his master. We don't know who's behind all of this uh, League of Villains masterminding. And uh, we last left All Might really worried about uh, who or what um, uh, might be coming back from his past, which I'm just now seeing uh, the title of this episode. <laughs> What's not a tale from the past, so I'm assuming assuming that this is going to be a little bit about uh how all might got his injury so we'll see but i'm i'm assuming that whatever it is it's going to be uh all for one centered i guess all right also i want to know more about this blonde girl that i've seen on t-shirts so all right so something about either one of those or both but probably only the both is good. <laughs> Let's get to We're it. We're rambling. Let's go. I don't think there's any reason for you to thank me. I wasn't around when the really big stuff happened. Sure, but the only reason I was able to stand up against Stain at all was because of our sparring and your wise instruction. <laughs> <laughs> you survived, yes, but only because the hero killer let you. Well, at least you learned to channel your power instead of relying on one monster smash. Even <laughs> though you did still manage to get a stress fracture in your arm. I thought we agreed you were only supposed to use 5%. You're too impatient, and when you lose focus, you lose control too. You must always be calm and alert. If you're really aiming to become the greatest hero like All Might, then you've still got a heck of a lot to learn, boy, so keep at it. Yes, sir! I've been wondering for a while, but never found a good time to ask. I mean, now's not the best time either, but here I am. Out with it now! I've got pastries to eat! Even though you're really you strong, pastries. and you train the number one hero in the world yourself, no one knows you. You should be super famous. Is there a specific reason for that, or what? No, that's an easy one. I was just never that interested in working as a pro hero. What? There was a point in my past when I needed to be able to use my quirk freely without limits. That's the only reason I got my license. It might be better to hear this from Toshi. That's it, kid. Keep working hard. He may not look or act like him, but he's still just like Toshinori. The man chosen by my friend. The man who inherited one for all. Who are you? Seriously? Oh, well, I'm, uh... Izuku Midoriya. That's not right. Uh, I'm Deku. There you go. <laughs> Holy crap! What the heck, Bakugo? Stop laughing. My hair's gotten used to this and I can't get it back the right way. Did you not hear me? <laughs> I'll kill you both. I'd like to see you try, pretty boy. What did you call me? He's a ghost. Awesome. You got to face actual villains? I'm super jealous. Well, I didn't fight. All I did was help people evacuate and provide logistical support. Did you guys hear the news about the hero killer? Everyone's been saying that he was somehow connected to the League of Villains. It is true that he's quite a tenacious villain. I understand why people might think he was cool. But instead of helping the world, his beliefs led him to cold-blooded murder. No matter his motives, killing cannot be condoned. To keep anyone else from suffering like me, well... I promise, I will strive to be the perfect hero. Yeah, let's do it. Everyone, please take your seats. He's Let us back. Work this is your fault for talking about we'll weird stuff. Sorry. Sorry. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> one day we'll ensure... Today, it's hero basic training. Feels like I haven't seen you in a while. Welcome back. You'll be competing in groups of five. Each person I would starts love, with love this on the so of much. <laughs> I'll send a distress signal, and you do what you must to rescue me. I'm making all these faces like, mm. <laughs> But try to keep the property damage to a bare minimum, please. Why are you pointing at me? Out of the first group. Okay, we got 
really we haven't ability. seen uh, we haven't seen Mina pull ahead in a lot. I'm gonna go with Mina. That's what I think. To story wise, quickly is it really one of his Yeah, I just think like sure. we haven't seen all the other characters in a long time. I choose the Ashido because she's got a super athletic body. I know too. You will with Mina. Even if he's still recovering, I think Ida's got this one. Is everyone ready? I love this. I love that they're taking that like just like we are. <laughs> Lego. Don't know how I feel being on the same team as Mineta, but <laughs> I, he's uh, he would be my second pick. <laughs> With my new training, I can win. Oh, uh, what? Those are my moves. <laughs> oh, I spent my time getting groomed at that useless internship. He, look at him. I've just gotta stay calm and alert. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, hero. All right. Zero. Yeah. Well done. He's basically Spider-Man. I see. When jumping in an area with unstable footing, I need to be careful where it is when landing. You surprised me. That was incredible. Find me after class. The real winner. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. The time has come for me to tell you the whole truth about me, and one for all. Ooh. He sounded so intense. Hey, Midoriya! You won't believe what I just found! The jackpot! Someone shawshanked a hole in this wall! A previous <laughs> Damn it, Mineta! You know Pop him! Door, right? this Pop him! The girl's locker room. I don't, don't even think about it! Hagakure's floating underwear! Uraraka's super fine body! Oh, so we don't expect it! It's on movies! Ah! <laughs> Jiro's earphone, Jack! Ugh. Thanks, Kyoka. Despicable. Why am I the only one he didn't say anything about? <laughs> I heard that the hero killer swallowed your blood in the attack. Oh, yeah. Do you remember how I gave my power to you? What I said that day? Eat this! No, not ah. that part. I said the key was in my DNA. That's why you had to swallow the hair. Don't tell me the hero killer has one for all now! No, he doesn't. I just thought you might be worried about that, but... I see. I didn't even think about it. Your mind. <laughs> One I might exactly with that. Only be given to another person if you, the bearer, intend to pass it along. Okay. It's not something that can just be taken by force. Good. <laughs> although it can be transferred by force. One for all was derived from another odd quirk, a power that's very old. It used to be something different. The name of that quirk is All for One. It allowed its user to take quirks from others. And the user could keep the quirks for himself or give them to someone else. What? This was back when quirks were just starting to show up. Laws and human rights were hotly debated. Civilization stalled. Society decayed. Be ridiculous. If superpowers had never appeared, and humans would be taking interstellar holidays by this point. I remember hearing that from someone famous. There was one person who managed to rally many people together. He went by the name of his power. All for one. He stole quirks from others. And then, with his overwhelming abilities, he spread his influence across the country. He manipulated people to serve his purposes and committed evil acts with little resistance. He became the leader of villains and ruled over Japan. He made people trust him or submit to his will by altering their abilities. But apparently, there were many poor souls who couldn't bear the burden of the quirks they were given. They became like mindless living dolls, incapable of speaking. Him. Just like the Nomus are. This evil man had a quirkless younger brother. He was small and sickly, but he had a strong sense of justice. It pained the brother to see All for One's deeds, so he kept resisting them. Shigaraki? All for One transferred a quirk to his sibling, one that would allow him to stockpile power. We don't know if it was a gift he was giving his brother, or if he just wanted to force him to submit. Don't tell me. Turns out the brother did have a quirk. Though even he hadn't realized this to be the case. He had a useless power that only allowed him to pass on quirks. And so the stockpiling ability merged with the younger brother's power. And that is how One for All came to be. But this bad guy must be long dead by this point. There are quirks that halt aging. He probably has something like that. The younger brother decided to entrust this new quirk to future generations. He hoped One for All would continue to grow in power until it was strong enough to stop his older brother. Eventually, it was my turn, and I managed to defeat all for one. At least that's what I thought. But he survived. 
and is now back in action as the brain behind the League of Villains. The entire purpose of One for All is to defeat All for One. As its holder, you may one day have to fight against this great evil yourself. Because I failed. I know you didn't expect this, but... I'll do my best! I'll do whatever you ask! Come on. Tell him. Thank you. I'm sorry, young Midoriya, but by the time you face him, I won't be by your side anymore. You can't just relax an entire month. Does that mean... You'll be training while you're camping in the woods. I knew it! All right! Hanging out with everyone all summer? I'm so excited! However, those of you who don't pass the final exam will have summer school. Everyone, do your best! This is so stupid. Oh, you girls better pass this thing! Now that he's viral, those who want to wreak havoc, or who simply sympathize with him, will seek out the League of Villains as a way to satisfy their urges. Tomura Shigaraki will be put in a position where he must unify many new recruits. I believe things would move faster if you were to talk to them yourself, though, Master. <laughs> Then you had better hurry and fix my body, Doctor. I wonder if the child can pull it off. How much has he really grown? He'll do well. Even if I have to work him to the bone. He was born with the twisted mind needed to become the next me. I hope you're celebrating while you can, All Might. Because very soon, this temporary peace will come to a violent end. Shigaraki is... got the... crazy enough to be... Like, this, you were asking about Stain versus him, mm -hmm. and it's just like, yeah, he's got the villain code, but also insanity. <laughs> Slightly spooky just, enough. Just twisted enough to be me. I'm very nervous about where they're going, hoping that long-term they figure out a way to fix that, or whatever that is, that he might be potentially... Used. It sounds like he believes he's dying in whatever way. And uh, I, would, I would hate that, because I very much enjoy him. Do you like all the lore of it? I did. Um, I did not expect that. I and I, I know in that moment I was like, is he like related to Shigaraki? Like, is that? But that was too long ago, I guess, to potentially, yeah. Really enjoy that it was the combination of powers. Or you said in the episode you hadn't thought of what happened with Stain. Tasting, eating. yeah, tasting the. the blood? I, I, I don't think I commented on it. I did at some point in the series think about like, oh, I wonder if people could like kidnap Deku if they learned that he has this and try and take it but i never thought about I, it did not connect with the like oh he literally ate his dna <laughs> like deku did but i'm glad that they the most solid form that we all know of is like when you're testing dna you're like take a blood sample go for it mm -hmm. yeah and it's mm -hmm. like that's that's what he did he should have this right but i never thought about that some people did um when i watched it with them the first time they're like well wait what about this i was like bah! and uh, I, I i guess and there was probably a lot of ways that uh I saying it right, Horikoshi? Yeah. Uh, could have magic wanded it with, you know, it's like, oh no, it has to be the intent. Uh, but it could have been like, oh, it only happens when you have mastered 100% of it. Like the last little bit of learning the ability is learning how to pass it on, or because mm. Deku's only at 5% right now. Or, mm -hmm. But we did also learn it can't be stolen, but it can be forced upon somebody. I couldn't steal it from Deku, but if Deku wanted to, he could push it into me. Like, if he's like, nope, this has to happen, sorry. I don't want it anymore. It's yours. So, interesting. Yeah, I'll, it'll be very curious to see how all, if they go into how many of the previous recipients, uh, or like, what they did with it, or how they how they got it, and how they chose their successor. Because hmm. uh, it's, that was cool. I like the origin. It was, it was neat that uh, All Might said it's, it's a shame that so many like heroic things come out of terrible injustices. Like, mm -hmm. That it was a horrible situation, but it did birth this incredible power. And now we also know why successors before All Might were not number one heroes per se. It hadn't powered up enough to fight what they needed to fight. Well, he does explain it. He d he says like this is something that history wants to forget. Uh, but it was kind of like oh, it's weird that. Deku's heard this like urban legend of 
but that people don't know it because it seems like it wouldn't be that long ago in history but that many like seven or eight people like that's that's a fair amount of time mm -hmm. i guess if they're living to be at least like 40 or 50 before they pass on that power that that is a long time uh, do they ever say dumb question do they ever say what year it is in the show <laughs> okay so we can't say that was like, like no like yeah, it's not like it's 2200 or it's like okay I don't know. His mother is at least third generation. I do not exactly remember how many generations there are that have done this. I do know there are nine. Did they get to live out their full lives kind of mm -hmm. stuff? So, mm -hmm. Or when did they pass it on? Yeah, because it was interesting. Because I'm curious how far in the future it is. Because they did throw that line in. Deku said he had heard somebody famous say, uh, if superpowers didn't become a thing, we would have had like interstellar colonies at this point because mm -hmm. we would have been focused on science and expanding. But now it's like, nope, superpowers, who cares? <laughs> so I, I could see it being like in, you know, 2200, 2300 or whatever, being like, oh, okay, that's why we're not terribly technologically advanced because we've been dealing with superpowers for the last couple hundred years. Yeah. Um, and they are kind of advanced because we got to see the security system of UA and stuff because that's true. supposed to be the highest one, but mm -hmm. not beyond this is a computer mm -hmm. and yeah, this is a cell phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, I, I did like that they kind of touched on it because I don't know. I, I don't know what year he, he's placed this because I know they want to keep it kind of evergreen and you can watch this whenever. But yeah, I'm super intrigued to know more. Uh, all for one. And now. Since we have watched after the credits. Yes. We know may or maybe what might be coming up. Any theories on all of that? Do you remember? I have to assume mm -hmm. that the person in the wire medical chair getup is all for one. So it, they're foils to each other. So it's All Might and Deku and uh, all for one and Shigaraki. Which now I really like that Shigaraki has Deku shoes. And, uh, um, Magic. Uh, I'm curious because I, I know his power was like disintegrating stuff that we've seen so far, uh, but I'm still curious about why all the hands like, I mean, I know he can kind of throw them around and do things with them because I think he was doing that at the USJ, right? That's a dumb question. Never mind. Ignore me. Um, Not a dumb question. You don't know. I'm I don't know. It, it sounds like that's going to be the the big battle that they're building up to. Like, this is the Harry Potter and Voldemort. It's the inevitably... Both of them are going to have to fight both of them at some point in some way, shape, or form. Um, and uh, I'm hopeful that because they've mentioned that there are quirks that can stop aging, and and uh, they had he mentioned it's a shame we couldn't get you that super regeneration quirk from X years ago or whatever. That hopefully All Might can get that. So long term, I think that's how we that's how we get All Might All Might to stay around, uh, even if he like. I can kind of see like All Might becoming just a normal person, like he's just a human, like, like he's now a quirkless human because maybe his power goes away fully, but he's alive. Mm -hmm. I hope not, because I would like to see him stay as badass as he is. So I think at some point the adult pair is going to face off, the kid pair is going to face off, and at some point they will find that regeneration quirk for All Might to live and, and be okay and live. <laughs> Uh, so that's, yeah, I don't know where and how they're going to battle, but, uh, that's kind of the, like, you are, y'all are going to square off at some point, uh, or else it's going to be a really weird, like, nope, it was Mineta all along. All along. <laughs> Mineta is the chosen hero. It oh. was prophesized. Gosh, damn it. Uh, so I'm curious to see where we're going. Okay. In the meantime, everybody, thank you so much for fanning out with us. Fans out. Us Ultra. <laughs>